Hello again, everyone. Dave Benson here with the Center for Personal Protection and Safety, a Senior Advisor for Th Global Operations and Threat Mitigation. Uh, as you're probably aware, this month we're uh, discussing all things travel risk management. And so I want to spend a couple of minutes uh, talking about what I think is a very important component uh, of any organizations and, in fact, an individual traveler's uh, portfolio when it comes to travel. And that is the U.S. Department of State's Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, or STEP program. This is a program that allows you to register either a group uh, or an individual uh, that's going to be traveling abroad, providing the U.S. Department of State uh, with their itinerary, uh, where they're going to be going, and at what time uh, they're going to be there. And so the benefits of this are kind of threefold. First of all, uh, you're going to receive the latest safety and security information once you register. And hopefully you're aware that the U.S. State Department is one of the best resources to understand what's going on within your region, uh, the country, uh, whatever that might be. Uh, so you can make some informed decisions about your travel. That information you provide entitles the U.S. Embassy, uh, wherever you're going, or consulate, to be aware of this and so that you're put into the queue, so to speak, uh, in the unlikely but still significant possibility that you could run afoul uh, of a foreign government, uh, you could be part of a natural disaster, a civil unrest such as a coup, planned demonstrations, any one of a number of different things. And so why is this piece so important? I can tell you firsthand as a retired senior diplomatic security special agent and a four-time regional security officer uh, serving abroad that uh, it's challenging enough to try to get uh, a handle on what U.S. citizens are in the country at any given time uh, uh, and, and how we can help them based upon the circumstance. Uh, if we don't know, uh, that you're traveling in that region, or if we don't know that you're there, uh, you're not going to be part of that initial queue. Uh, and frankly, that's going to delay any possibility of, of getting you some help because in conjunction with American Citizen Services at the embassy or consulate, part of our job is to make sure to have an understanding of what U.S. citizens are in country at any given time and what are some of the uh, options based upon the circumstance. Uh, it'll also keep you informed by registering a simple registration, which is absolutely free uh, with the STEP program. Uh, you'll receive current information about uh, the information on your destination countries or your region and any changes. Uh, and you'll be able to receive those on your phone or other devices while you're traveling, uh, such as alerts, updates on country travel advisories, which can change very quickly and other things such as services, town hall meetings, uh, voting information, other benefits that you may be entitled to uh, that you may run afoul uh, when you're traveling abroad. You may lose a passport. Um, you may um, require a visa because you're changing your itinerary. Your itinerary has changed. You've had a medical emergency. There could be lots of different reasons and it's much more advantageous for you to be of record with the U.S. Department of State. Um, set up one account, either for your group, or your organization, or individual travelers, uh, and then you can add later trips uh, for future travel plans. So it's really easy to do. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, so becoming a smart traveler is just uh, the right thing to do. And to reiterate, uh, please consider enrolling in the Smart Travel Enrollment Program, the STEP program. Um, those benefits, you're going to receive the latest safety and security information. Uh, it's going to enable U.S. consulates and or embassies in the region that you're traveling to be aware that you're there uh, and can more readily uh, access you in, in times of crisis and vice versa. Uh, you're going to get periodic alerts about safety and security situations. 
um, and travel advisories. So it just makes good sense that, that including uh, registering with the U.S. State Department through the STEP program uh, be a fundamental part of your travel mis risk management program. So I hope you found this useful and I look forward to talking to you again.